these viruses and this one are not so mindful of time of year. They care much more about whether there are susceptible humans close enough together for it to jump from one to the next, to the next, to the next. And while it may be that, that outdoor temperature has some impediment on, or you know, impeding effect on the ability of the virus to jump from one person to another, I think if you get enough susceptible people close enough, it really won't matter whether it's hot outside or cold outside. Um, you're still going to get transmission, you know, that exceeds our ability to control it. In the case of new influenza viruses, pandemic influenza viruses, they didn't really show much seasonality in their first years of living with humans. It took quite some time for them to become seasonal. There are tantalizing suggestions that perhaps in some cases, warmer places have less transmission. It is by no means uniform. All you have to do, for example, is just look at the United States right now. Look at New Orleans. New Orleans has a terrible explosive outbreak right now. And New Orleans is one of the warmest places in the United States right now as well. So just being warm and humid is not sufficient to you know, prevent uh, rampant or widespread transmission.